Alright guys, so back with another video, uh, probably my most requested videos via the Instagram DMs and that's how I take photos of my sports cards. Now, I've had a lot of people and I'm quite surprised by this, think I've got this whole professional setup, but this setup, other than the phone, should cost you less than $100 with a little bit of time and effort and you can you know, alter it yourself. Uh, it is a quite an easy way of doing it. So I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process. I do have to give credit to a couple of people. First off, uh, Melbourne Cardsmiths, who does have a YouTube channel, but now they are known as Card Lab. He's actually the guy I got the first part of how I take my photos of. Uh, and then the second person I've got to give a shout out to is Cosmic uh, Cards on Instagram uh, because he was the one that actually told me how to do the second part of how I take my photos. So in terms of taking photos, um, yeah, you can put them on your eBay. I don't, I still use a scanner. Um, but yeah, in terms of taking photos for my Instagram, I, I use this method. And another method that I've seen people use uh, and I have used before is the light box. I think they're about 30 to $40 on eBay uh, and then people stick their cards in it and take photos. Uh, and look, they they can bring some nice photos, but for me personally, I think uh, it isn't worth the money because especially with like your, your base sort of uh, cards that you take photos of, you can see in the reflection the phone quite poorly. And sometimes when you're trying to get a photo of a card, you've got to get the right angle and trying to fiddle around with it takes a little bit of time. Uh, so I'm not a fan of the light box. Yeah, I threw my light box out ages ago. All right, in terms of the equipment that you need, uh, I personally think you only need three, uh, maybe four things. You probably already have two of these things. Uh, first up, phone. Phone with a good camera, you know, the iPhone. At the end of the day, this is a thousand dollar camera on a phone. So uh, yeah, I love the iPhone. I use this to record all my videos as well. Second thing, this is for the second part of the uh, photo taking. You don't really need to use this, but I've got my, my Mac here and I use that to help edit the photos. You don't have to edit your photos. If you like them as is, then you can use them. And I'll show you what it looks like without editing and with editing, so you can make your own decision for yourself. All right, I do apologize for the mess, but I have a ring light here, so you can purchase these uh, off Amazon or eBay for around $30 to $40, I think. Uh, my one is just one with a bit of a tripod so I can extend it up. Uh, and I have it hovering, I mean, I don't know how high that is. Uh, let's say 10 centimeters off uh, the mouse pad. And then, yeah, the fourth thing that you'll need is a black mouse pad uh, just as the background. Something that's sort of optional that you could sort of have as well, a lint roller, just to make sure everything's all sort of clean. But um, if you do some editing, you can, uh, you don't really need the, the lint roller. And yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm editing it all. So I'm gonna make this fun. I'm gonna use my uh, my main PC. Uh, we have Gardner Minshew um, Blue Optic, and then we have the Gardner Minshew uh, Select. So what we can do is we turn this on, and as you can see, um, it lights up, makes a nice little back Background. And even though there's no editing involved, and you can kind of see the, the screen in here just around there. You can see how nice it already looks there without any editing. Um, I'll get my phone out so it, you can kind of see <laughs> what I'm doing here as well. But essentially, just trying to get that photo almost in the center. This is kind of hard to do when I'm looking at two screens at once. Bit of Bit of inception here. Yeah, as you can see, that is what it looks like. I actually put it up on the screen, probably a bit easier. Uh, and then you get the next card up. So obviously with graded cards, uh, a little bit easier, but with ungraded cards, I do try to, um, I, I, I do take it out of the uh, top loader, take it out of the sleeve. So that does become like a bit of a tedious little process, but um, yeah, that's how I do unsleeved cards. I'll do an example here of an unsleeved card as well, just to show you what it looks like. So I'll do a Jalen Williams that I did uh, pull from a player of the day pack. Um, yeah, so unsleeve there. Yeah, no, no protection or anything, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah, unsleeve. So the beauty with having uh, the iPhone and the Mac book is that um, yeah, in terms of file transfer, you can just airdrop it. Uh, if you've got Android, there's obviously probably like a USB transfer that you can do. Uh, whatever way works the quickest for you, I use, Air, uh, again, my MacBook and um, the phone through airdrop. So yeah, get the three photos. We do air drop it straight towards the laptop, as you can see, takes like five seconds. So now for the next stage, uh, I would recommend using Canva. If you're more familiar with other photo editing software, 
um, you can just use that. If you don't even want to edit it, you can just take the photo that you had itself. I think the photo itself is fine and I've seen other people do that, but I do like to add a little bit of editing to it. Uh, and Canva is a free program. You can pay for a premium service for it, but uh, I actually do have a, I do have the premium, which I think is worth it. But if you want to use it for free, uh, it works very well. It's a much more simpler version for Photoshop, in my opinion. All right, so now that I'm on Canva, uh, what I like to do is create a design. Uh, so they, they've already got their own preset options. So I have Instagram posts, which is uh, square. Uh, so as you can see, it's even uh, top to bottom. Um, I'll duplicate these just because I've got three of these photos. So for all of them, actually, what we can do, just to make it a little bit more efficient, um, so automatically I put the black background like I do in my um, all my pictures and then we just duplicate these, I can't even speak, duplicate these. So we've got three here already for Instagram. Next thing you do, we've already got them uploaded. So I've uploaded them down through here, the upload files, click on each one and just put them onto here, onto the next one, guard the Minshew again. And then onto the next one, we have the Jalen Williams there. So we've got three of our pictures here that are all ready. The very next thing I do, and I actually apologize for this because it is a premium feature, I use Canva's background remover, which is unbelievable. So I will just click on that, bang, click on this one, background remover, bang, and then we'll go straight to this one, background remover, bang, over there. Uh, and it, it basically works its magic on all three photos, uh, all cards, uh, and gets rid of all that background in yeah behind it. So as we wait for that to load, they're all done now. Uh, as you can see, they're very nice. And what you've just got to essentially do is drag them out to fit the uh, Instagram sort of tile. You can kind of center it. Uh, so I think that's about center. It obviously is a little bit off uh, in terms of the angle, and you can't you can actually fix that in Instagram when you do post it, but. Uh, as you can see there, trying to get that all in the middle there. So as is, as you can see with the black background being removed by itself, it actually doesn't look too half bad already, but I do like to add a little bit of editing. And this is where I had to thank uh, Cosmic Cards because he was the one who showed me uh, how to do this. So yeah, with the Garden Minshew one, uh, go to edit image, I go to adjust. Uh, I like to turn up saturation just a little bit, like obviously if you go all the way, it's a bit too much, but Probably a little bit there, turn up the contrast uh, a little bit. Brightness, I never really mess around with. Sometimes the, the, the warmth, I do play around with that as well. So it just depends on the card as well. So uh, we'll turn down warmth a little bit. Um, let's see what it looks like. You gotta play around with it. So highlights will bring up a little. Vibrance, uh, doesn't really do too much for me. Clarity, no, too much. Uh, shadows, we will probably bring down a touch. This is very subjective. Um, and as you can see, you've got all these settings here. If you want to make it easy for the other pictures, so as you can see, there's already you know another two here and you want to do the same thing. It takes a lot of time. Go to the bottom of adjust and it says filter code, just command A uh, and then copy. Go to the next picture, command A and paste. So uh, I'll show you like before, yeah, before. And then we go to the image and bang. So, I mean, that's, you know, I'd want to edit that a little bit more. Uh, and then we'll go to the Jalen Williams. Sometimes it doesn't always work out perfectly. Like some cards, you know, require, like see like that. I don't know if that worked as well. Like the PSA slabs, you might have to go into this one a little bit more and play around with that. Like it probably is a bit too saturated for me. Bring that all down. Um, but yeah, that's how you can kind of play around with it um, and try and get, you know, the filter uh, and and try and make your, your card images look a little bit better. Once that's all done, I basically just downloaded it back to my laptop. It's all ready for Instagram. So uh, as you can see in the preview there, probably wasn't a fan of the ring light disappearing on the corners over here, but um, could have had that positioned a little bit better. Uh, again, on this one, probably didn't have the greatest positioning, but it was all just for the video itself. Uh, and then the Jalen Williams there. So yeah, I think it's a really great way. If, you know, you can actually do this for your eBay store as well. I still prefer the scanning method when it comes to eBay because it takes way less time. Um, but in terms of photos for your Instagram and all that sort of stuff, you can make it real nice. I have some people even add in a watermark on the bottom right. So, you know, if I want to add my logo, I can add it to the bottom right. Um, but these go straight back onto the Instagram. Uh, and yeah, they're all pretty much done. All right, I just want to show you guys what it looks like from the start to finish. So here's the very first photo that we took. Uh, no editing, just the black mouse pad in the background along with the ring light. Uh, like I said, I've seen people use this by itself and I think it's perfectly fine if you want to use that uh, with little to no effort. Here it is on Canva, just with the background remover and on a black background. Just a little touch that we've added there 
there and it already looks a little bit better. And then again, by adding some uh, sort of adjustments to the photo itself, you can make those colors pop on the card itself. So again, it just depends on your effort level. If you want to go hard uh, and edit uh, some of your photos for your Instagram, you can you know take a little bit more time with it. Uh, but I do understand if you're time conscious and everything like that, you can definitely just take the photo on the black mouse pad uh, and leave it as is. Here guys, that's it in terms of how I uh, take photos uh, of my sports cards. Not a professional setup by any means. I have seen some really, really nice setups, you know, when people use, you know, nice cameras and all that sort of stuff and flashy editing. But my way I feel like is very simple. Um, I've got real, really no, uh, you know, massive experience in terms of uh, editing and all that sort of stuff. Like I do my own thumbnails for YouTube, but Again, I've all learned that uh, on the spot. If you guys appreciate uh, me putting out this video, I know there are a fair ton of you guys that have asked me to put out this video. Please hit the like and, hit, and make sure you comment down below. If there's any other tips that you want me to go over, hopefully I don't have a massive delay like I did with this video because I promised this video months ago. Uh, please let me know down below as well. As always guys, I appreciate you all and I'll see you guys all in future videos. Take care.